Hyundai's new Kona crossover might be small, but for its parent company, it's a really big deal. Not only does it ride on a brand new B-segment platform, the Kona previews a funky new styling direction for Hyundai's entire utility vehicle lineup. It's a good thing consumers have been warming to the oddball designs of SUVs like the Jeep Cherokee and Nissan Juke. The Kona certainly proves this styling trend isn't going to die anytime soon. Indeed, comparisons to the Cherokee, Juke, and even Toyota CHR are warranted, though to our eyes, the Kona looks better than all of those. That's especially true especially up front, where the Kona uses a split light design. The top row of LED running lights incorporate the crossover's turn signals, while the larger housings below hold the Kona's LED headlights. Black cladding, Hyundai calls this the Kona's armor, is present on the front and rear fascias, as well as the body sides. Around back, slim taillights are reminiscent of other recent Hyundai designs, though the turn signals and reverse lights are housed in a separate cluster closer to the bottom, weird. The Kona also gets a two-tone look, with a contrasting black roof, though you can also swap that out for white, or body-colored options. In the US, the Kona will use a pair of four-cylinder gas engines, mated to both front and all-wheel drive configurations, and we've also heard future electrified models are on the way. On the base end, the Kona will have a naturally aspirated 2.0-liter engine, with 147 horsepower and 132 pound-feet of torque. It'll be mated to a six-speed automatic transmission, and Hyundai says this model will sprint from 0-62 miles per hour in 10 seconds, with a top speed of 120 miles per hour, though we aren't sure if that acceleration time is with front or all-wheel drive.